Thank you to Harry's and ExpressVPN for sponsoring. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation, it is I, Andrew, and we are about to take a trip when special effects were a lot less complicated. Back to the year of 1982, it is, of course, the film I am talking about, Tron. And I am, of course, joined by my brother from another mother, oh. Janizio. Hey, how, how you doing, Andrizio. My, how you doing, my man? Doing all right. I'm ready to tackle this classic sci-fi, sci-fi film. film. Me too. I'm excited. I am a little bit sad. There is no Daft Punk in this soundtrack. Uh, I don't think they were a thing back then, but, uh, you know, we'll make do with this one. But let us know in the comment section, what do you think of this film? Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And, uh, you know, do all the YouTube things. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and leave a like so you can let us know that you are enjoying the content that we are bringing you and all the great special effects that Tron has brought us over the years. Also, we want to give a special shout out to Prepper. They do such a wonderful job of editing down these videos, especially from me, where I give all these crazy references to everything. So thank you so much, Prepper. Also, full-length reaction watch along where you sync up with your own copy. It's where you do a Patreon. It's where we call you super sexy. It's where you can enjoy the whole film with Giannizio and myself. You get to have the full experience of the Tron. You get to see all the cool special effects with us. You enjoy it. And also, John, Greg, they have so many exclusive other things on there from TV shows, movies, so many highlights you get to hear all the fun little references of everything that i get to do from every movie and tv show that i come on do it it's such an amazing time seriously you will not regret it and john anything else before we get going for our tronathon nope just just i'm ready for jeff bridges all right let's get it going oh i like it that's so 80s yes <laughs> Yeah, perfect computer. 80s computer text. Yes. God, I wish we grew up in that era. Dang. We shall waste no time. Let's get right to the titles. Yeah, gotta get our iconography established. Getting like a, almost a Pac-Man vibe here. Yeah, Pac-Man motherboard, cityscape. Flynn's. Oh, they have one at California Adventure. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn, that's awesome. All right, give me room. Here we go. Oh, man, we are just getting right to it. <laughs> Whoa. Nice. David Warner. Hey. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah, I was going to say. For 1982, this is spectacular. Sure. It's like state of the art. Bat. Whoa! You die in the game, you die for real. This is how the Matrix was born. Fascinating animation. Yeah. I'm curious what the budget was back then for this. You're getting brutal, sir. Brutal and needlessly sadistic. Brutal. Thank you, Master Control. We kidnapped some military arrange more illegal matches sure i'd love to go up against one of those guys <laughs> make a nice break from those accounting cream puffs you keep sending me uh, <laughs> at least make it a challenge for me i hear his voice i just hear ray al ghul from batman the animated series sure i work at a savings and loan i can't play these video games no you can't pal you look like an astral athlete if i ever saw one <laughs> what Hey, look, you guys are going to make my user, Mr. Henderson, very angry. He's a full branch manager. Uh, Another religious nut. This is a fascinating society. Really love this animation. You believe in the user? Yeah, sure. If I don't have a user, then who wrote me? But does the user believe in you? Master Control Program's been snapping up all us programs. If he thinks you're useful, he takes over all your functions so he gets bigger. Ooh. And if he can't use you, he sends you down here to the game grid to get the bits blasted out of you. Yeah. It's like Agent Smith or something. What's your name? Chrome. <laughs> Ram. Chrome and Ram. <laughs> hey, uh, what's been going on in the other sectors? You know, I've been stuck here for 200 microcycles. Jeez. I think. You can't even travel around your own microcircuits without permission from Master Control Program. I mean, sending me down here to play games. Who does he calculate he is? It's a fascist game of society. Hey! Let's go, sexy young Jeff! 
Okay, Clue. Tonight we check everything in the right-hand column. Clue program. Clue. Yes, sir. Clue, we don't have much time left to find that file. This is top priority. Yes, sir, I know, sir. This isn't just correcting my bank statement or phone bill problem again. This is a must. I understand, sir. Let's just call Clue Skynet. Sure. Now, you're the best program that's ever been written. You're dogged and relentless, remember? Let me at him. That's the spirit. <laughs> Let me <laughs> at him. <laughs> I'll try to cover you from this end. Go. Dogged and relentless. Good adjectives. Wait, is that, is that Jeff Bridges, too? Did he make his avatar look like himself? Hard to tell. I think so. When they have people on screen. Ah, okay. That answers that. Yeah. Yes. It almost looks like a silent movie at times. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good way to describe it. Yes. Now Flynn is saying to look over in here. Because there's no background music, too. Hey, man. Half the sound effects are the background music. Yeah. Come on, you scuzzy data. Be in there. Oh, this is so old school. I love it. <laughs> this is how we communicate with AI now. We've got company. <laughs> Fascinating. I recognize her. There's some there's Whoa. some score music. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there's too many of them. Sure. Blast all the arches. Great kid, don't get cocky. Jeez, what what did they do? Is each one a portal? Do they like pinch you? Uh oh, come on, man! Boss battle. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh oh, uh oh! Get out of here! Get out of there, Clue! The Sentinels. I really feel like I'm the Wachowskis. Like, saw this and took a little inspiration for sure. Definitely some Tron in the Matrix. Got a pirate program here. Says his name's Clue. Came into the system with a stolen password. And we caught him trying to raid a high clearance memory. No! I must have gotten in there by <laughs> mistake! <laughs> I was sim- Whoa! <laughs> Throw him in the brig! Who's your user? Forget it, Mr. High and Mighty Master Control! <laughs> Forget about it. You are making me talk! Oh, we got that single teardrop going. Whoa! Oh, uh. This is fascinating. This must have taken so long. Oh, yeah, back in 1982. <laughs> It yeah. must have been like hand manipulating so many of these frames. Yeah. Remember when you got me to have a single teardrop when you were the winter soldier? That's right, man. That was Good true times. acting. You're a thespian, Andrew. Yeah. You you got it out of me. My man. Look at this gamer. You know the first movie I ever saw him in? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Secret of the Ooze. Yep. Looks like Tron, but it's the real world. Good evening, Mr. Dillinger. Thank you, Peter. You can go now. Yes, sir. <laughs> you said an office greeter. They had high-tech tabletops as far back as the 80s. This is just like the ultimate desirable future, I guess. It's like every movie about the future has one. No problem, Master C. I'm sure when people saw this, they were like, oh my god, it's the future. What's up? It's your friend. The boy detective is nosing around again. Flint? No. You're still looking for that old file. Can't you just appropriate it? I have. I put it in my memory, which he hasn't located. Mm. I spotted him this time and kept him out. But he's getting trickier all the time. AI is learning. We'd shut down all access until we find that Flynn, just to be safe. There's a 68.71% chance you're right. Cute. <laughs> Cute. I would have loved if they had James Earl Jones for that voice. I mean, who wouldn't? Yeah. Oh, happy 93rd birthday today, by the way, James Earl Jones. Oh, dang. Yes. I guess you guys will know when we're shooting this now. They can figure it out. Oh, what are you doing here, guy? 
I guess these machines run off the honor system. Gallon? Think I could have some of your God, look how endless this office yeah. is. Yeah. Oh, goodness. That's a lot of cubicles. It's not that different from the inside of Tron. It's just a maze. Corporate rat race. It's like I'm on to you. You're the mole to Flynn. Damn. <laughs> he just turned to the window so he could turn back around. He's got to have his bad guy pose, John. Tron. Yes. For the rest of this video, yes. I will be Tron. You are Tron. <laughs> and you will be and Clue. Group 7 personnel, just briefly security. Uh, you're in... Your improvising skills, so good. Well, I hope you don't think it's me. I don't even balance my checkbook on downtime. I have an abacus at home for that. Oh, yeah. high tech. Uh, what's the project you're working on? Well, it's called Tron. It's a security program itself, actually. It monitors all contacts between our system and other systems. It finds anything going on that's not scheduled, it shuts it down. Oh. Part of the master control program? No, it'll okay. run independently. Of course, it must. Well, we should have you running again in a couple of days, I hope. Mm, you hope? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> very productive meeting. Dillinger seems like such a genuine guy. Mr. Dillinger, I'm so very oh. disappointed in you. Oh, no. I can't afford to have an independent programmer monitor. Do you realize how many outside systems I've gone into? How many programs I've appropriated? It's gotta be staggering right now. Oh, perfect timing. You gonna knock on the elevator? <laughs> Yes, I want a laser bay button in my elevator. Never been to a laser bay. You know, it is important to get your vitamin C while you're gaming all day, so. If you're not gonna have it at halftime of the soccer game, you gotta do it while you're gaming all day. Oh, is that Cindy Morgan? Is it? Rest in peace. Well, here goes nothing. Yeah. December 30th, she passed. Oh, no. She was in the classic Caddyshack. Well, what I meant was... Actually, what we propose to do is to change something into nothing and back again. They might just as well have said, here goes something, here comes nothing. Right. Thank you, man. That That's me at the party. <laughs> it's true. John is very good at explaining things. It's not technically turn of phrase. Laser activity. Let's see if we got the green light. Give me the green light. Five seconds. Oh, yeah. Let's Whoa. go. Wow. Who invented that, Oppenheimer? Sure. Perfect. Damn. That, that, that was fast. Beautiful. Hi, Alan. I, I, I understood that reference. A laser dismantles the molecular structure of the object. That guy's voice sounds so damn familiar. Lays out the model like the molecules fall back into place and <laughs> voila. Is it? Mm, great. Can it send me to Hawaii? <laughs> but you got to purchase your program 30 days in advance. Dude, you'll be 3D printing dinner in no time. I had Tron almost ready when Dillinger cut everyone with Group 7 access out of the system. Oh, what do you know, man? That was a suspicious look. Don't expect some static. After all, computers are just machines. They can't think. Oh, oh, you know it. Computers and the programs will start thinking and the people will stop. That's the dream. I was all set. Did he say why? Something about the tamp. Yeah, he's on to you. You know, Flynn has been thinking about breaking into the system ever since Dillinger Candace. Oh, Flynn used oh, to work here. Okay. Flynn had access to you, too. Oh. Okay, bro. Very revealing. Not getting <laughs> jealous. I want to go to Flynn's place. What for? To warn him. Of what? You like him better than me? Don't be insecure, man. I don't know what you ever saw in that guy anyway. I love him for his brain. Yeah. Well, I just I figured out why it's called too. Flynn's. <laughs> yeah, because he's an entrepreneur and he loves games. Boy, I haven't been here in a long time. I would love to own an arcade. It'd be awesome. Yeah, man, you could aside conduct from the all your business bill, in quarters. Aside from the electric bill and the, the cost of rent, that'd be awesome. Let's get some solar panels, bro. Get that right off. Home of space paranoids. Interesting. Man, I used to love going to the arcade growing up. Yeah. Barcades are still fun. Arcades and barcades. Where is he? I don't know, somewhere. At least pretend like you want to be here. Yeah. 
I would love if he's on like DDR with like a crowd of kids around him <laughs> using both pads, showing off. All right, let's see what product placement we can find, John or Tron. Hey, there we go. See, he's that good. <laughs> God, remember sexy young Jeff Bridges? Can't compare video games of the 80s. Nope. <laughs> What's funny is this would actually be kind of fun if they ported it to like a VR. If you had a Tron game that was actually yeah. like in VR. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. It's all in the hips. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right, that's right. I we heard I got a shout out. We shouted you out. I yeah, heard, yeah. I heard. Hey, good to see you guys. Nothing classes up to join like a clean cut young couple. Yeah. We gotta talk. We can't even yourself thinking here, come on. Damn man, working up a sweat. Oh, see that camera shake at the end there. Go on, go on, make yourself at home. Be right up. Damn, he worked up a sweat playing that game. Yeah. So if anybody says video games aren't a sport, you just show them to that scene. Exactly. Have you been sneaking into the Encom system? Right to business. I have been doing a little hacking here, as a matter of fact. You did break it. <sighs> you son of a bitch. Flynn, are you embezzling? Embezzling is such an ugly word. Actually, I'm trying to get some solid evidence together. Yes. I don't get it. Gonna take tr the machine to court. Sherman, set the Wayback Machine for three years ago. Kevin Flynn, one of Incom's brightest young software engineers. He's talking about himself. His own private memory file and begins writing a program for a video game that it called Space Paranoid. <laughs> Paranoids, Matrix Blaster, Bice Squad, a whole slew of them. Dang. I was this close to starting my own little enterprise. Yeah. But, enter another software engineer. Not so young, not so bright, but very, very sneaky. Ed Dillinger. Friggin' Dillinger. So when that our boy Flynn, he goes to his terminal, tries to read up his file, I get nothing on there. It's a big blank. He doesn't exist. He's a ghost. This is nice exposition for the audience. I still don't understand why you want to break into the system because man somewhere yeah. in one of these memories is the evidence oh my god this is my password dillinger's instructions through the birth of data the it's whole show no dillinger's cut off everybody with group seven access wait wait wait, wait, wait what are you doing? Uh, well now there is nothing to stop him now it's just dillinger and the mcp running things from on high out of my tron program oh he said the name let's go let's go you know, if your file was in there, wait a minute. If we can get in there, I can forge us a group six access. Let's get Clue on it. Oh. Well, you know how frustrating it is when you're working on a piece of research. Walter, I sympathize, but I have data coming from the master control program telling me there's something screwy going on around. Yeah. I can't sit here and worry about every little user request that comes in. User requests are what computers are for. Yeah. <laughs> Doing our business is what computers are Ooh, for. Ooh, the ethics. Uh-oh. Very quick cutscenes. Do you even have control of the MCP? You know what's funny is this actually kind of... Uh, you can see where Free Guy got a lot of ideas from. I have not seen Free Guy. Oh. It's on the list. Well, he t he's Taika Waititi. Ah. <laughs> David Warner's Taika Waititi. Catered pieces of equipment in existence. Oh, I know all that. I think this guy was in Sister Act 2, if I'm... If I'm not mistaken. That's Lauren Hill? Yes, it's Lauren Hill. <laughs> you know, you can remove men like Alan and me from the system, but we help create it. And our spirit remains in every program we design for this computer. Ghosts in the machine. I've got better things to do than to have religious discussion. As I say, it's direct to. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Father Maurice, if I'm remembering correct. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Let us pray. <laughs> I don't think I'm cleared for this. Well, I'm certain. You want to move aside? Give the kid a little room. Come on. Let's do some 80s hacking. Let's hack our way in. Do some John Connor moves. I make these myself. You want one? Easy money. What a door. Damn. Damn. That is, th that is a thick boy. I would close that My door. My fault, I programmed you to want too much. I was planning to hit the pentagon. Whoa! Uh, 
Pentagon? It shouldn't be any harder than any other big oh, conference. Low goals. <laughs> now wait a minute, I wrote you. I've gotten 2,415. That's it? Smart. That's very specific. The same thing I want with the Kremlin. I'm bored with corporations. Oh, uh, damn. <laughs> the information I can access, I can run things 900 to 1,200 times better than any human. Wow. You wouldn't want me to dig up Flynn's file and read it up on a VD tip. Yeah. Wow. I shall threaten you. It's like free, it's like free guy and Skynet. <laughs> I don't know the reference of the first one, but the second I do. I'm going to put him at my terminal. I'm going to meet you in your office upstairs. And don't fall asleep. If and when I activate your Tron program, you're going to have a few minutes to use it before Dillinger catches a break in security, all right? He's going to fall asleep. That's where Freddy Krueger gets you. That's the prime time! Damn, who's, <laughs> whose server room did they borrow for this? I was, think they went to the local laundry mat. Yeah, they turned it into this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the home appliance section of your local hardware store. <laughs> Gort Klatu Barada Nikto. The day the Earth stood still, ah. and by extension, Evil Dead. Ah, okay. Why we got Jenny to you? Right, say Army of Darkness, here. I guess. But anyway, ah, references. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta <laughs> see that too. <laughs> Keep those programmers out of the system and get me that Chinese language file I you, asked for. You can't access a Chinese language file with your infinite power. Interesting to see him feeling so like defensive and helpless now. Yeah, his creation is running amok. Come on, I'm, I'm scared of the dark. All this technology scares me. Come on. <laughs> Damn, and yet you chose to spend your life surrounded by it. Back in the laser bay. It's an excellent sneaking montage scene. Not making a lot of noise. Like ninjas. Like this this literally is halfway between a scene and a montage. <laughs> oh man. Like a man says, there's no problems. Only solution. That old printer. Remember, this laser is my life's work. Don't sell anything. <laughs> Don't spill any laser juice. Clue. Oh, they cut away. I don't know. Okay. Now we know the password. You shouldn't have come back. Ah. Hey, it's the big master control program everybody's been talking about. <laughs> Remember the time we used to spend playing chess together? Oh, let's go. What do you got? I'm afraid. Stop. <laughs> you realize I can't allow this. Now, how are you going to run the universe if you can't even answer a few unsolvable? <laughs> sure. Go against you and see what you're made of. You know, you don't look at things. Oh, Whoa. he's going to put him into the game. Oh, no. I'm going to have to put you on the game, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. We are doing this. Damn. I'm loving that. That effect. And it is like like a printer, like a reverse printer almost going line by line. Whoo, fun. I know it came out seven years later, but it reminded me of where Honey, I Shrunk the Kids cut the Sure. The <laughs> oh my God. Let's go through the digital Doctor Who rift. You unlock this door with the motherboard of imagination. A dimension of pixels, chips, and of monitors. Signpost up ahead. The Tron Zone! I'm curious if someone has edited a version where there is Daft Punk in this. They must absolutely have done. Wow. wow. Oh, this must have been such a trip in 82 seeing all this. Yeah. Oh, my God. What I wouldn't have given to see this in a theater like oh. at the time. Oh, yeah. I would have been just blown away. <laughs> Ooh. I just want to see Flynn meet Clue. Yeah. And then make out. You read my mind. <laughs> oh, man, this isn't happening. It only thinks it's happening. <laughs> it's a matter of perspective. Careful. I said, Whoa. Look, if this is about those parking tickets, I can explain everything, okay? Yes, of course it is. Yes. I would love if that's actually what it was. 
parking enforcement always gets physically violent over those kinds of things. I've got a little challenge for you, Sark. Whoa. It's a tough case, but I want him treated in the usual manner. Zordon let himself go. Uh, this is Zordon on the dark side. <laughs> yeah. I've been hoping you'd send me somebody with a little bit of guts. See? He needed a challenge. It's not any kind of program, Sark. He's a user. A user? Oh. You look nervous. It's just users wrote us. A user even wrote you. Yeah. No one user wrote me. I'm worth millions of their man years. <laughs> Jeez. You rather take your chances with me? Want me to slow down your power cycles for you? Oh. Oh. Get this clown trained. I want him in the games until he dies and play. Ah. Sure. Hey, will you call him program? Program? Wow. <laughs> It's like an expressionist movie. Really think the users are still there? They'd better be. All right, so obvious statement. Blue represents users. Who are you guys? Holy oh! You wanna watch those four steals? Huh? You couldn't have said that before. Where am I? You're uh. That guy looks familiar. Guest of the Master Control Program. We're gonna make you play video games. You're saying this isn't the Parking Enforcement Agency? I play video games better than anybody. <laughs> Did that guy play Billy the Kid and Bill and Ted? Oh, sure looks like that him. could be him. That guy does look like him. And that that movie was seven years later than this, but that could be him. Good eye. Now I can't unsee it. Yeah. <laughs> Bogus. This is so many things. This is like a weird like history. Roman Empire or something, but in a computer. Yeah. They've got these like centurion guys gladiator games Ram Sark's carrier is approaching you will explain the training procedures yeah the ship from star wars but digital is approaching the master control program has chosen you serve your system on the game <laughs> continue to profess a belief in uh, the user it's like that's dillinger the standard substandard training which will result in your eventual elimination. Jeez. The standard substandard training. <laughs> this superstitious and hysterical belief. They couldn't mic this guy up. You will each receive an identity disc. Everything you do Ooh. will be imprinted on this disc. Live or die, make your choice. For fail to follow commands, you will be subject to immediate de-resolution. I'm really surprised they couldn't get him a mic for that. <laughs> <laughs> like half these dudes are like, no what did you say? in the digital world. Yeah, in cyberspace, no one can hear you scream or give an address. That's funny. <laughs> that is funny. Who's that guy? That's Tron. He fights for the users. <gasps> Tron! I am Spartacus. Whoa! Damn. So cool. No. Oh! Yeah. Damn. Hey Ram, what were you, you know, before? I was an actuarial program for big insurance company. <laughs> How about yourself? Uh, I don't remember too much. Name's Flynn. Sure, a little disorientation. That's normal in transport. It'll come back. Sounds good, Mr. The Flynn. <laughs> That's funny. Let him fight one of his own kind. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> he looks so happy to be here. He looks so amused. Are you not entertained? Yeah. Gala Galadiator. <laughs> eh? One of those scoops? Gonna play like. Oh. Are they gonna play tennis? This is like. Futuristic ah. racquetball? Catch. Okay, whoa. I'm starting to get this game. So you get the max points if you hit the center. Ooh. Ouch. God, I love the sound design. Yeah. Okay, here's an easy one. Whoa. Ooh, come ah. on. Whoa. Oh, so it gets rid of okay, I see now. Okay. This is neat. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, what a shot. Finish 
the game! Finish him! No! You'll regret this. <laughs> yes. There's definitely a lot of inspiration into other films that came after this. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This... It's, you know, obviously the technology isn't where it could be to realize a vision like it, this, but yeah, yeah, this is like cutting so many edges and breaking so much ground. Oh, for sure. I want him in the games until he dies playing. Jeez. How much more do I owe on these parking tickets? Yes. <laughs> I would love to play off my parking tickets. You won! Alan. Where did you hear that name? Yeah. Alan. Well, that's your name, isn't it? I heard it from a velociraptor. Why did you say that name? How did you know? I'm a program from a user that knows Alan. He was disoriented in transport truck. Yeah, but I'm remembering all kinds of stuff. <laughs> like my user wants me to go after the MCP. My user Dude. wants that too. Hey. Did we just become best friends? Yup. <laughs> <sighs> and to do all these digital sequences, must but have as taken. if there was a camera. I can't or like... even imagine back then how long this must have taken to do. Yes. Oh, here we go. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah. Cool. Oh, the sound design. Oh. Yeah. God, every time they do that and they take those sharp turns, like my heart skips a beat. Oh. Feel like we're on Endor. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my God. Yeesh. Yeah. No. Okay, who's still left in the game? Oh. Get him into the maze. Yes. Lose him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Into the void. Oh. Ah! Let's go. Free the people. So long, Woo! Uh, oh. Ah! Uh-oh. Yeah. Y'all gonna get picked off. Oh! No! Is that Billy the Kid gone? Yeah, I think I think we lost Ram. This is an illegal exit. You must return to me. Thank you for the notification. What are they, in the sewers of Tron? Or of, uh, the program? Of space paranoids? Whatever we should call this place. <laughs> Get them. Shrink through that doorway. It's a Pac-Man! Yay! It literally is Pac-Man! We called that earlier. <laughs> yeah. It's like, this design looks familiar. I wonder if Pac-Man is their god. Target's leaving protected field. Interesting. It's like the, I'm trying to process what the logic is here, like, because it, it feels like they just like broke out of an actual arena into like the surrounding city sewers, etc. But I'm also like, is this functioning like some kind of hidden area of the map within the program? Someone had to design this space. Ooh, oh. Yeah, I was worried about that. <laughs> and I love the prism effect for the sparks. <laughs> the score music is so fascinating. Whoa. Okay. My yeah. goodness. Billy's still around. On the other side of the screen, it all looks so easy. Sure. It's just joysticks and button pushes. When do we pay our visit to the old uh, master control, huh? There's oh. just three of us. What? Well, hey, you know anybody who's got an army for rent, that's fine. But my uh, user told me to go take that sucker out. Or I'm never getting out of here. You are the user. We can't get to the MCP without the help of my user. I have to get to that input-output tower. Yeah. My user is with your woman. Yeah. What's that? Ooh. That 
is just what I need right now. What 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 is it? Whoa! Damn. God, these effects. Bathe in the living waters. What? It's the fountain of eternal youth. Yes. Boy, you forget how good the power feels till you get to a pure source. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. So it's like just pure energy represented as water. Mm. Thank you. I can feel it. Alan won. Let's move out. Go, Alan. Out in the real world, not falling asleep. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're an addict, man. Get the lighting effect when they drink it's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's that Panera Bread lemonade in there. It's got the extra caffeine boost. Range nine. No. Uh. No. 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 Pursuit force reporting to escape units Durez. No. Damn. Say it ain't so. Good. Play dead. Ramp. Oh no. No. Come on. We gotta get out of ah. here. No. Don't be dead, dude. I'm gonna need more of that water now. I don't know. What what's making that chirping sound? Thanks when we find this here. It's Minox. <laughs> this was supposed to be easy. Uh. Well, you should have set the game to beginner mode. You always start on beginner mode and then work your way up once you get the hang of it. You got the rhythm. Did you activate? Yeah, you can't just be falling asleep on stuff. Half of everything in here could be buttons. You see this? You shouldn't be able to do that. You're powering the system. Powering the sector. Make a mega sword. Yeah. Make a Gundam. Hey, hey, oh, hey we got it. our own. <laughs> Ow. Little janky leg. So, work in progress. Ooh, little steering wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, of course it is. Sweet. Hey, you okay? You don't look so good. We'll get you fixed up. Hang on. Come here. Just pay attention. Yeah. Are you a user? <laughs> Aw. No, buddy. When? Good touch with, with the blinking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost game over. Ram. No! Oh. Ram. Ugh. You will live on in our random access memories. Justice for Ram! I thought that was Matthew McConaughey for a sec. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Just as an age like the rest of us. We've got to go inside the machine. All them circuits and wires. You gotta twist them around. <laughs> Fairy dust. This was so much easier in the real world. <laughs> yeah, he's going to have so many tickets on this machine. I got to get to that IO tower. Yes, you do. Attention all units. Ooh. Lock onto matrix code. Wow. What's the progress on the simulation? 3056, 99 are correct. Limited 4 and 8 oh. are missing. Is that Cindy Morgan? Where's her spectacles? I can't tell if that's Cindy Morgan. I guess she wouldn't need them in the game. Hey. 3056. Okay, it is Cindy Morgan. Limited four and eight are missing. Oh, my. I think. I love you. Oh. Hey, reunited. It feels so good. They haven't built a circuit that could hold you. Yeah. Yeah. Where can we go? This way. Quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. There are a lot of pregnant pauses in this movie I appreciate. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. He's got a merchandisable friend now. I need one. Where's my toy? Want a Funko Pop? Whoa! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Steady. Stay on Ooh. target. Oh, knock down one of the tanks. Yeah, not Took me bad. a second to realize that. Pull it together, man. Whoa. Nice. Nice. Cool. Okay. What's this do? How about this one? What does this button do? That's the Dune sector right there. That was like the Bene Gesserit. <laughs> Those hooded figures. Just want to know where Paul Atreides <laughs> is. Oh! Oh! It's okay. Tron is Paul Atreides. Ah. Paul Atreides. Ah! Oh! Offline. Offline. Uh, <laughs> Oh, this town is full of live ones. <laughs> it sure is. Whoa. Damn. Oh. oh. Shall blend in with my enemy. Cover yourself in zombie guts. So what does that mean exactly? Did you just absorb his, like, clearance and essence? Or are you, like, one of those guys now? Just join the dark side, John. More guards. They're just chilling over there. Are they supposed to be on rotation? These are computer guards. They should just be on guard. <laughs> you had one job to do. Yeah, you had one job that your programming dictates you do. <laughs> and the shading, too, as they look around the corner there. Mm. Fascinating. I'll go first. Ooh. Wee! Let's go. <laughs> I mean, he's got beamed right there. And what do you want? I've come to communicate with my user. Difficult proposition. Difficult proposition. Oh, that's the uh, the guy I said from Sister Act too. <laughs> sure. In the laser bay. They hate this tower. They'd close it down if they dared. But they like my phallic hat too much. To deal with the other world once in a while. Dumont. <laughs> What could make this free system again? <laughs> no, really. Dumond, I've come to bargain. And you've been in the system as long as I have. You hear many promises, many reassurances, many brave plans. This fascist video game world has got to end. Yes. There they are, with the Guardian. Yeah. Right, Yuri. <laughs> Who is your user program? Alan One. Alan. You may pass, my friend. You shall <laughs> pass. The Tower Guardian is helping him. Man's on a swivel. Bring in the Logic yes. Pro! Open Logic Pro! There's also some Metropolis in this movie. It's so unique, but it is also, like, classical in a way. It's fascinating. That's my word of the movie. Fascinating. <laughs> Beam him up, Scotty. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Success? It appears so. It's begun. It has begun. You're creating the information on your disk that will erase the MCP and change the system. Oh. We will not be able to communicate again unless you succeed. Damn. Hopefully that disk hasn't been corrupted. Yeah. The thinking probe. This is the key okay. to a new order. Yes. Where's the program? Yeah, yeah. What program? Take him. Oh, put him in the Iron Maiden. This solar sailor simulation will take us across the game sea, out of this domain, back into the central computer. Across the game sea. Look out! Ugh. Let's go. Oh. Oh no! Ah! 
Oh, yeah, I'm not wasting my time. I'll just jump. My man is a pragmatic program, if nothing else. <laughs> Wowie. Wow. Uh. Cross that sea. Excellent sense of scale. Getting shades of the first opening shot of A New Hope. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I wonder how you take to uh. a pocket calculator. We did take care of that user you sent us. Put him in a TI-83. Almost reached your decision, Gage, oh. and I can't spare you any more time. End of line. End of line. Yeah, yeah greetings, program! When you're uh. alive. Barely. I'm Ooh. a survivor. Ooh. Oh. Disguise gone. Yeah. Do you get to equip that later? How's your inventory work? Where's Ram? Aw. He didn't make it. R-A-M to R-I-P. Uh, I can't get the Matthew McConaughey look out of my... <laughs> you see it too, right? Sure. Okay, good. I knew it wasn't just me. We'll get a montage of him just in a light cycle, monologuing pensively. <laughs> this is Flynn, the one who busted me out. Laura? Well, then I owe him some thanks. Ooh. I gotta know my way around the light cycle routine. I wrote the program for it. You wrote the program? It's time I'd level with you. I'm what you guys call a user. Are you God? You just keep doing what it looks like you're supposed to be doing, no matter how crazy it seems. And that's the way it is for program. Uh, ooh. I hate to disappoint you, pal, but most of the time that's the way it is for users, too. Oh, we are the programs! Oh, nice looking ship you got here. <laughs> nice looking pilot, too. Yeah. Are they gonna have to fight out the love triangle here in the program, too? Pay for Inquisition. I need a little bit of relaxation, but first res up the carrier for pursuit. One other thing. Don't think anymore. I do the thinking around here. <laughs> yeah. Sir, yes, sir. I don't give you enough information to think. Nobody expects the digital Inquisition. This isn't going to be easy. If those grid bugs get us, we've had... Oh, my. Cute-ish. <laughs> Little bouncy guys. Had enough? What do you want? Oh. Old enough to remember the MCP when it was just a chess program. He started small and he'll end small. Yeah. Funny, Dumont. Maybe I should keep you around just to make me laugh. How dare you treat the architect like that? Yeah. What's happening? Power surge from the MCP. Ooh. We have to get off this beam. I can't. There isn't another junction Damn for it. seven or eight nanoseconds. There's another beam! Oh. <laughs> Gotta be something you can do, man. Absorb the energy. Whoa. Wowie. Cool. <laughs> if I had seen this as a kid, oh. I, I would have thought this was so freaking cool. I still think it's so freaking cool, but yeah, my mind would have just been blown to bits. I would have been pretending to be inside the machine all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Did we make it? Yeah. Yeah, seeing this in theaters again, mine just blown. But it's still fun to watch now. Oh yeah. It still feels like you're you're experiencing something unprecedented. And it is like a piece of art because of that. Like you could just tell how much like how many multiple departments worth of craftsmanship and oh, design yeah. and like painstaking cell manipulation. Like, oh my god. Is he derezzing? No. But I couldn't tell you why not. You can't hear the Daft Punk, that's why. Exactly. <laughs> so one thing I know about Tron Legacy is uh, the, yeah. is derezzed. <laughs> yes. How did you do that? Elementary physics, a beam of energy can always be diverted. Are we there yet, Mommy? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Daddy. <laughs> Glad you finished your homework. That's oh, why they no. fired him. He got too smart. He can't be controlled. He won't fall in line like a good program. <laughs> Interesting. We haven't seen Clue this entire time. Yeah. I wonder if he would come back. Well, I mean, he's the user, and he, I mean, the user and the program are, are completely separate. Yeah. So I, th I think, at least. Yeah, maybe we'll have some kind of end showdown or something. 
Oh, they'll leverage him with Clue. Oh! Whoa! That's bad. I'm curious who did the composing for this film. John's dead. Ah! He fell on his head. He That's came what here they to said. help us. He's a filthy land monkey. So we have erased that program. Yeah. <laughs> Take that program to the holding pit! Oh boy, control your anger. Yeah. Like when he gets super he gets extra right. That temper's gonna be the downfall of you. I disembark. Oh. This ship and everything that remains on board will automatically de res. Yeah. Dude. Them are fighting words. Well, well yes, uh, thank you for clarifying. <laughs> How many more of these ships do you have? I feel like this would be a resource worth salvaging. Oh yeah. You knew they couldn't take down the man so easily. He's like Flynn. He's a survivor. Rutus to the MCP. I want to get rid of this dead weight and catch a transport beam to the game domain. Certainly. Something's happening. That's so cool. Love some of these the way they've staged a lot of these shots. Yeah, the craftsmanship. I can't imagine how many Hours upon hours it took for them to do. Yeah. Well, and even the stuff that's all computer digital is like still kind of framed yeah. with camera motions that look cinematic so it blends well into the movie. Yeah. It's like it's easy to overlook that cinematography is a part of this type of animation even at this point in time. Oh, yeah. Remember, you are wireframe, and to wireframe, you shall return. Leave me alone. We failed. We're only going to fail if we give up. Now, come on, <laughs> look. The wall. All hope is not lost. Yeah. Let's combine our power. Why did you bring me back? I need your help. Come on. <laughs> I drank all that energy water earlier. That's Whoa. so cool. Oh, he's... He, okay, so that's... Yeah. When he spins, he is a solid color form. Ah. Whoa. Whoa. The MCP. The heart of the whole system. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. No. Oh, I love the skull embellishments. Another warrior is on the mesa. <laughs> Slave, it doesn't matter. Prepare to terminate. Ouch. Not today. All programs have a desire to be useful. No. You're very persistent, Tron. I'm also better than you. Yeah. yeah. You gonna take that? Flip your little antlers up, man. Oh! Whoa! Not bad. All my functions are now yours. Take them. Oh man, what an upgrade. This would be like if somebody made an open world video game out of this. It'd be so cool. Oh, is he just growing sizes? Is he giant man? He is growing. Wow, cool. Ah. What good will that do? I'm gonna jump. It's an arc reactor. Yes. This is how Tony Stark defeated him years later. God, the colors. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. Whoa. What is so cool? Oh, here we I go. I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Become the main central program. Yes. Victory. Whoa, back to stone. Uh-huh. Oh! There go 
goes your box of scraps. This. <laughs> oh, beautiful. We are now, now a land of freedom. Yeah, now it'll become a screensaver. <laughs> so cool. This feels like sci-fi Terry Gilliam. I need to watch a lot more of his movies. I really have not seen barely any. Oh, go watch Brazil, boy. It's nice. Wasn't she just kissing Jeff Bridges? You know, he <laughs> charged her up, but... I guess so. He threw himself into the beam and distracted the MCP just long enough for you to get the disc in. He saved oh. us. He really did it. He was able to save us in a cave with a box of scraps. You are now exiting the Matrix. Reverse movie sign. This is kind of like a digitized kaleidoscope version of the Mystery Science Theater countdown. <laughs> My man. I just had the strangest dream. Yes. Space. Hey, he got his credit. Space paranoids. Priority one. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. What is he gonna, it's not going to be able to talk back. To, is he? How is he going to function without the MCP? Yeah. What is this blasphemy? You're free, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Look at those lapels. See, I would have just lived at the arcade. Oh, pretty. Nice time lapse. I like it. I love this music so much. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Who okay. is Steven Lisberger? I don't know. <laughs> and Bonnie Let's McBird. Wait for the after credits scene. <laughs> yes, of course. The, the sequel tag. I want to see who did the uh, music. I'm curious. Yeah, absolutely. It was 82, so. And I have to imagine that, you know, the, the score elements and the you know sound design overall had to be interacting a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I almost thought it said Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, Jeff Goldblum edited this movie. Yes. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I say we edit ah, uh, ah. Uh, like ah, <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, this ah. Uh. Golly. Ah. Wendy okay. Carlos, huh? Good name, but I've never heard of her. A woman composer too. You don't see. You don't see slash here very often. Eh. Wow, and a lot of notable orchestras and philharmonics. Yeah. Thrilled to be partnering with a brand I've been using for nearly two years now, and that's Harry's Razors. I'm generally more drawn to anything that goes against the norm, and Harry's does just that in the grooming world. They saw the high prices in the industry and decided to blaze their own trail with quality and affordability. I keep a beer, but whenever you see these cheeks in the neck clean, and that's the work of Harry's right there. Keeps my wife happy, and Harry's makes it effortless. They're precision blades that cut smoothly with less drag, making every shave satisfying. And yes, it's versatile for other areas too, you know what I mean? So as a Harry's devotee, I can vouch for their value. You can experience unparalleled comfort and quality in your grooming routine where exceptional craftsmanship meets affordability, making a smart choice for a top-notch shave without breaking the bank. Their kits and value packs for shaving are unbeatable, but Harry's is not just about shaving. Again, they offer top quality, thoughtfully designed grooming products, including shampoo, conditioner, and amazing body wash without the premium price. Quality, affordability, that's a thesis of this. Now these I actually pulled right from my own bathroom. I regularly use their five blade razor with a nice weighted handle and their foaming shave gel man this that ball it is a game changer i just like the feel of it now i have to commit to keeping this in my hand the whole time because i'm not going to go to the bathroom in the middle of shooting this the handles they feel perfectly balanced and the razor sleek design is a classy addition to my bathroom and the quality of the shave unparalleled gotta reiterate keep part of my weekly grooming ritual because their entire range of products fits seamlessly into my routine definitely no reshoots here their german engineer blades are durable and refill plans are economical rarely use the word economical but i'm using it now plus their commitment to high customer satisfaction and no risk trial makes harry's a no brainer Brainer. This gel really does feel good. Let me say once more, choosing Harry's means quality and affordability. By grabbing your $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash rejects, you're not only getting a great deal, but you're also supporting this channel. That's harrys.com slash rejects for your $3 trial set. Stay sharp and embrace the extraordinary with Harry's. Till next time, Reject Nation. 
Until next time. Big thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video, a real game changer I've been using for years. That's right, years. So whenever they want to work with us, it's an instant yes. You've likely heard about ExpressVPN for online privacy and security, but there's more to it than that. However, there was a very real incident recently with Spectrum shutting down my internet and contacting me due to a suspecting hacking attempt. And funny enough, I realized I hadn't actually activated my ExpressVPN on my new laptop that I got a couple of months ago. So I was paying the consequences. Having faced a serious hacking issue on YouTube a couple of years ago, that made ExpressVPN my go-to for both security and freedom. I mean it. And yes, what you've heard is true. Believe me, this channel knows. You can use ExpressVPN to watch movies and shows on Netflix that are not available in your country. This means accessing a vast array of content of over 100 countries, like a global cinema at your fingertips. It's super easy. Open ExpressVPN, switch locations, refresh the browser, and there you have it. Whether it's K-dramas on South Korean Netflix, Hulu, BBC, iPlayer, YouTube, or more, ExpressVPN has you covered. And it's incredibly fast, ensuring no buffering or lag for smooth HD streaming. It's versatile too, working on not just computers, but phones, media consoles, smart TVs, and more. This means you can enjoy your favorite shows on anywhere, any screen, protect and elevate your internet experience. So if you want to get access to hundreds of new shows, use my link, expressvpn.com slash rejects. And you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. That's expressvpn.com slash rejects. So head to expressvpn.com slash rejects to learn more. Thank you again. I, you know what? I really enjoyed it. I mean, it's definitely a bit dated, but I mean, we. I, I what think, are you talking? Yes, it's about not it. dated at all. The effects are groundbreaking. Is to to oh, oh journey. journey huh? Um, I mean, it's a little dated, but you know what? I didn't care because I can only imagine like being. Uh, we mentioned a couple times during the reaction, like if we were in the theater in 1982 watching this, sure, or even just seeing it now in the theater too. But like, mind absolutely tripped and blown. Like at the time of seeing this. Uh, you know, with the the uh, the sound designs and just all the uh, all the sequences uh, in the gaming digital world, if you will, it's just completely groundbreaking and so cool. And I did read a really cool, interesting fact. Just one thing I did read about this film was uh, it said something like they didn't uh, in the Academy Awards that year they didn't include this film for best visual effects because they said it would be considered cheating. Um, well, oh, c come on. Yeah. I mean, I, I so. get how I guess it's like it's going to be like, well, here's <laughs> why bother nominating anybody yeah. else. But at the same time, right. I'm like, this is, yeah, it's that groundbreaking, surprises but me. Yeah, no, but I just I thought it was very interesting world building. And just again, just very groundbreaking effects. I also I love Jeff Bridges in this movie. He yeah. brought such an infectious energy that I really appreciated. I haven't seen a ton of Jeff Bridges movies being tr very transparent with you guys. Sure. I've seen a couple, obviously. Everyone knows I've seen Iron Man. Um, but <laughs> yes, um, but I have not seen too many of his films, but I love the energy he brought to this film. I really, uh, you know, cared about his character. I was very invested in him and just like his journey that he went through in the game and uh, just like making sure I wanted to get him out of, uh, out of the game in a very safe manner as well. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and also, too, like, I felt bad for his character, too, like, having, you know, been ridiculed and fired from his job and everything that happened. So, uh, but, again, I just I love the energy he brought to this. He was so just uh, enmatic and energetic, and I just appreciated his performance. But what did you think of the film? Yeah, I agree. I mean, this was, I, I've heard, you know, this movie has its legacy over time, and I have heard, heard it said before that like it's it's one of those classics that not everybody agrees is like great necessarily and mm -hmm. i've often heard people be like oh it's kind of boring or like ah you know for the time it's it's cool but like watching it now eh. but i was actually really into this and i was really kind of taken with the obviously the digital art on display but moreover just the way it it added it, it's funny there's like an ironic tangibility that this movie had from my experience of it because it be you know the way the effects are orchestrated yes yeah, certain scenes are just all computer simulated but so much of this is also combining obviously live action photography with all those p bits and pieces and, yeah. and you can tell just with the jitters on the edges around characters and stuff like that, that so many of these frames must have had to have been cut out and colored onto and, you know, to get all the different glowing patterns oh, and yeah. stuff. Like, there's just so much craft and artistry that would have had oh, yeah. to have taken place on something like this. And so, yeah, it's like, even though this is a groundbreaking 
you know, tech demo in a lot of ways. Uh, it also felt sort of classic to me, and it was reminding me of a lot of other movies, too, in a good way, in a way that, you know, uh, it didn't feel like it was only deriving from those, you know, it's like people uh, recently have been dogging on, like, Rebel Moon, because Rebel Moon feels like it's so amassed good. of a bunch of other movies' parts, and it doesn't really have as much of its own personality. Whereas here, I mean, I definitely thought about Star Wars, I thought about Metropolis, I thought about uh, even, like, Fantastic Voyage, but if you were in a computer, the Matrix, like there's so much stuff a little bit before and definitely a lot after yeah. that, you know, borrows from it and homages this. But yeah, I thought the the world of the game and the machine, like it's one that you want to hop further into and explore just the details and the rules and the lore of. And I like that, yeah, you have this you know, almost gladiator-like yes, yes. system. It almost feels like you're in some kind of ancient Rome where you have this emperor in the the main, you know, program who is... And, and, and again, you know, we, we live in the time of AI, so you've got this program that has, you know, amassed and learned and generated its own will and is now sort of running amok on things. And you don't get the sense that there are huge real-world stakes right away, but they're threatening, like, oh, I'm going to hack into the Pentagon <laughs> next, you know. And the Kremlin. Yeah, yeah the yeah. Kremlin and all yeah. that stuff and so like those elements i think have aged up and have gotten more relevant totally. and and yeah and, and it has that charming 80s hook of like oh it's it's you know this guy with a video game arcade who like wrote this game and that stuff reminded me of free guy too where, where you know that movie involves you know characters who live inside the game but also the designers and the company who made the game and the politics of all that and you know both stories are kind of working together in the stakes yeah. and so uh yeah but but as it pertains to just this uh i really enjoyed the performances uh and i enjoyed yeah just the way that this really felt like I was watching something classic and something, again, that almost felt like when you're in Tron, uh, in the machine, if when you're in the program and you're watching actors, especially in close-up, like yeah. it really did feel like watching some kind of old silent movie or something. Yes, just the it way did. that, it did. Yeah, yeah, just the way the image quality looks, the grain of the film that they used. I wonder if they shot some of those scenes in like black and white and colorized them on like black and white stock or something. Um, but and yeah, the sound designs when they were inside yeah. the program in the game, it was so fascinating. And I love too a lot of the visuals when we were inside, like especially at the end with the whole spinning thing, and like a, it felt like very religious, like a temple yeah, that they were in. That exactly. was really fascinating. Was the the word that came to mind very? Which often. made me think yeah. of Dune. In yes, that I was sense. thinking. Yeah. I was thinking of Dune very, very much. I know Dune came out at least the 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 uh, was it the David. Um, uh, what's the David Lynch one? David sure. Lynch one came out two years after. It's around but the still, corner. But yeah, yeah, I was still, I was thinking of Dude well, for sure. And that's the funny thing about this experience to me as well is that this movie, uh, again, obviously haven't seen Tron Legacy either. Excited to check that out after this. But Tron Legacy, uh, like the, the trailer for that feels oh, I love like that trailer. it's a great trailer and 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 the kind of movie that that trailer looks like i guess is sort of what i had expected from a movie like this and i expected that movie to be in the tradition of whereas i can kind of almost feel like i i get the sense it's just a guess but you know like the tron legacy will probably feel more like a big action blockbuster and this certainly has that yeah, quality yeah. too but i don't know like there's something about the way that movie presented itself where I'm like, okay, so this is going to be a lot of like jousts and light cycle fights. And, and you know, it's, it's almost going to feel like some kind of bigger budget. Yeah. But something that's also like in a dystopian way, sort of more focused on these particular games or something. Whereas this like sprawled out and it's like, yeah, you have a light cycle race or, or two, you have one in game context yeah. and then one in real stakes context. And then, you know, the rest of it, you're moving through all these different areas of the world. It's, it's It kind of moves like a side scroller in a way because you're constantly going to new places and seeing new facets of the machine. E even though those were completely digital and it felt like we were watching a game, like I still had that claustrophobic feel when yeah. we were inside that. And, and the sound design and the way the cinematography moves in those scenes, like just did such a good job of making me like, again, just feel that intense claustrophobia and like scared for our, our uh, feeling the stakes for our characters. Yeah, absolutely. And like, I like that again, like that lent 
that lent the feeling of being in some kind of ancient empire or or like a you know Star Wars type you know mm. futuristic space empire and obviously the big ship is supposed to you know make you think of Star Wars um, going after the little ship but yeah. yeah and having those like little flourishes that feel like cult or religion and and yeah this just had so many more elements and details and a, and a totally different way of moving and breathing than I was expecting and it was reminding me of of things I hadn't expected in terms of just the broad scope of cinema and so yeah this felt like watching some kind of big budget but also sort of avant piece of art yeah you know I felt like I was and I haven't seen all of THX 1138 or, or whatever but either. it felt like you were dipping into one of those things where it's like you can feel the hands that made this it's not so polished that it doesn't feel like people made this and uh and yeah I don't know it, it's this was a lot more fascinating than I expected it to be in so many ways and and yeah like I I feel like again that that association I grew up with was like oh people think this is kind of boring but like I don't know I was really really enthralled by this overall and uh, I mean you know like the outside characterizations in the real world could be he Billy was Ted. Billy the Kid yes All right, but we got to check oh he was also in Air Force One cool we oh. got to check about me though John so you only check about you yeah that's right that's what right. about me about yeah uh, who, who do we need to, who do we need to Barnard verify? Barnard Hughes I want to see if he's in Sister Act Two yeah. Father Maurice that's the important yeah we gotta get the uh, oh man sister act two father maurice father maurice there you go we both got one we both got one high five andrew that's yes. what this machine and also runs fun on. fact too sister act two was directed by bill duke Ooh. yes thank you so much bill duke and predator we loved you we uh, he directed that i was for a second i was like wait you mean the guy from predator right? yeah no uh he, he played mac in predator yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my but god he didn't direct predator no no, no. <laughs> that was john McTier. but he directed sister act two he directed sister act two you can go check and see if i'm oh, wrong uh, uh, john's <laughs> like i trust you i do I trust, if there's trust anybody you. i trust with trivia yeah. oh my god by the way you. uh we forgot to mention at the beginning of this review if you have not already if you are listening on spotify or apple if you don't mind giving us a rating we'd so much appreciate tron would myself uh what was uh, my name and and clue uh i would yes. appreciate it uh that was kind of i thought we were gonna go back to that too with the whole clue character but i, he I got don't D-Rez. okay he got okay okay i i don't know i didn't i guess i i didn't pick up on all the rules but i guess you're right that's why i have you here for you're the smarter one clearly if the pair here um if i ever were to transport into a universe like tron i would need the actual Tron character here uh, uh, to survive. So, uh, but let us know. That when- took me by surprise too. Sorry. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Just the Tron is this like is this savior esque. Paul, like very simplified, not for the, the same the purpose, game. almost Paul Atreides type, where it's yeah. like yeah. it's not even Jeff Bridges does save the day, but but he he opens up the opportunity for Tron to do it, which is neat, which is like, oh, like even calling it Tron, Work naming it after the, the savior, yeah, yeah, but who's not like the main, main, main character yeah. is is it's just a neat flirt. There's I'm, so many neat flirts. Yeah, I mean, this. other than the ground-breaking uh, visual effects and all that and Jeff Bridges being, I thought the name of the game was Tron, but I, that's, yeah. that shows him. And Space Daft, Paranoids, and, baby. And Daft Punk is uh, yeah. the soundtrack of the second one. That's how much I knew about this one, but I, I rather enjoyed it. Again, the groundbreaking effects, especially at the time, really cool. I love Jeff Bridges. Yeah. This is is now we gotta watch Juan Lamour, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, but let us know in the comments section. What did you think? Does it still hold up for you? Uh, are you nostalgic about it after all this time? Yeah. Do you want? Tron and Ann Clue doing uh, Tron Legacy. We'd love to hear Go. your thought. We need some Taft Punk Go. in our lives. Let us know in the comment section. We'd love to hear for you. Do all the YouTube things. Subscribe. Hit the bell icon. All notifications. Hit that like button. We would appreciate it. And we shall see you on the next one. Peace.